So I want to show you guys how to make pinwheel embellishments. Because um, I know a lot of you ladies on the Facebook group were interested. And here you go. Um, these are two examples. This one is an example of two-sided paper. This one is an example of one-sided paper. And um, you can do both, whichever one you want to do. So I just, I just did both because I had both. Now what you're going to need is some paper. So I just have this kind of paper. I have flimsy paper, thin paper. I have thicker paper. Um, you can use whatever paper, whatever design, double-sided, one-sided, whatever. Um, you're going to also need some buttons. So I just have this bottle of buttons. Obviously you can't use most of them because they have that little stand on the back. But um, anyways, so I have this type of glue, Crafters Pick the Ultimate. So this glue will help put the button onto the paper. You're going to need some scissors or a, um, or a knife, like a, what is it called? My mind is going blank. Um, but I prefer scissors. And you're going to need a ruler, of course. Um, so anyways... How to start this, I just have everything pre-planned because of, I am like using my hand, um, one hand as, you know, so I, I don't want to like mess up anything. So anyways, um, you see these boxes right here? I can use any of these boxes. I'm just going like with the four boxes here. So it's maybe like a three by three square. So when I put it down, it goes right inside that box. So you want to mark off here on one side, mark off here on one side, and then use your ruler and straight edge, straight edge. You want to cut all the way down until you make a square. So it looks like this. And then when you're done with that, when you're done with that, you want to draw two lines. So a line going down here and a line going down here. So grab your ruler and you want to line it up. So diagonal. You want to line it up and you want to grab your pencil and you want to make a line. So you want to make a line down here and you also want to make a line right here. So right here and right here. And all the way to the corners and all the way back. All the way to the corner and all the way back. So once you're done with that, you've made an X. Um, you want to cut down every single line. But before you do that, do not cut all the way to here, like the middle. Don't cut there. You want to cut like a little further than half. So right here would be fine. Right here would be fine. Here and here. Um, so I've just cut them, as you can see. I've cut on every single line, so here, 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 and here. And once you do that, you want to flip it over. If you have the double-sided, then it's fine. It doesn't matter. But um, if you have one-sided, you, of course, want to put all of your lines on the back of the pattern paper because you don't want to put it on the, on the pattern side um, so people can see it. And I don't know. I just go crazy with pencil lines and stuff. I don't like them, so... You turn that over, and once you do, you'll see these little flaps. You'll see things that look like big triangles. Um, so, once you do that, you can either start on the left side or the right. And what I mean by that is you can either start on the right side of this triangle or on the left side of this triangle. And for me, I start on the left every time. So, if you're going to start on the left, you want to fold it in kind of diagonal, like... You want to make it a diagonal like that, and you want to make the little triangle corner or end go to the center every single time. And if you're doing it on the right side, you want to go ahead and do the same thing. Fold it diagonally and into the center like that. Now, if you're going to, again, like I said, if you're going to do it on the left side, you want to do it left every single time. If you're going to do it on the right side, you want to do it right every time. So here I'm doing it on the left. I'm folding this, making it into a triangle all the way into the middle. You want to turn it around. Just a simple turn. 
and you're going to start on the left again. If you're doing it on the left, start on the left. So here, I just fold it down in a diagonal all the way to the middle. Turn it again. You want to do the same thing on the left, fold it down to the center. So it's starting to look like a pinwheel. Turn it again on the left to the middle. And from there, you want to be able to glue these flaps down because you don't want them sticking up. That's annoying. So what I have is just this regular smash stick. Um, and I'm going to be using this glue on these flaps. So then you want to glue this flap. Glue it down. Turn it. Glue this flap. Oops. Glue this flap. And then down. So just continue to glue those flaps and it'll look something like this. So it'll be flat. It'll look like a pinwheel. It'll still look like a pinwheel. Although pinwheels have like, you know, it's a little bit more raised and stuff. But since it's going in your Smashbook or journal or whatever you want it for, a card or something, um, you want it to be flat. And then once you do that, you can either make your lines now. So the lines, I mean lines, by, my, by lines, I mean things like this. So you can create these lines or you can create dotted lines or whatever you want to do. Um, I just, you know, created the lines on the white spaces so it would stand out. So if you want to do that first, you can do that first. If you want to do it second, you can do that second. But then you want to grab some of this, the glue, any glue. I use this Ultimate Glue and I put it on my button. So I have, I have this button right now and I'm going to be putting it on this side. So if I was to put the glue on this side, I would stick it down right in the middle easy and just like that and then hold it there so it stays secure and once you're done with that you're done with the entire pinwheel and it looks it'll look like these ones right here so I've did a, I've done a couple and they look like that and they're super cute and you can put them in your smashbook your journal whatever um, but I just wanted to do this video for you, get it up, and hopefully you guys understood it. If you guys don't, let me know in the comments, and I will help you out. And um, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I, I hope you guys like them. Um, so more videos to come about DIYs and embellishments and stuff. And I will see you guys later. Bye.